Hi everyone, this is Bai Hey Art, and through this video, I'm going to show you how to paint Lighthouse Sunset with a watercolor on Procreate. It may seem hard to do, but actually it is not. It's just a piece of cake. You don't need to be good at drawing or painting to do this painting. I'm going to show you the easiest way to paint it that anyone can follow. Show start. The template that I'm using is a template that has seven paper textured in it. In this video, I'm going to use some watercolor brushes, and I'm using paper five. Before jumping to the painting process, I'm going to do the sketching first. I'm going to sketch using sketching pencil brush, which is located in watercolor at arms. Loading the brush with black color and starting to sketch the land. And now I'm going to simply draw the light house. And now drawing the border of the sea, and the sketching process is done. The sketching process is not hard, is it? Now I'm going to lower the opacity, creating new layer above. For this time, I'm going to use Winter Mood Color Palette and Sky Galaxy Color Palette. I will use the Sky Galaxy Painting One brush to paint the sky. I'm going to fill the corner of the rectangle using the dark purple color and I will overlap the painting on some area to create a nice watercolor smear effect. I always overlap it to create a natural nice watercolor effect. Now using the dark purple color, I'm going to paint the border of these two colors and fill some of the empty spot near them. Picking a soft blue color and painting the empty area below and overlap a little bit to the color above. I'm going to paint the sunset part so I'm going to pick magenta color to paint the upper part of the sunset. And again, overlap it to the color above. Using the same method, I'm going to paint the sunset area. Picking a nice orange color and apply it. Light yellow color for the bottom part of the sunset. It's fine to paint go beyond the land area. You can fix it later when we paint the land. I think something is missing here, so I'm going to reapply some light yellow paint on it. Now, the very refreshing part for me, it's blending time. Let's wet the painting using watercolor blender brush. I'm not going to blend everything, I will apply it on some parts only. The term of blending in watercolor is like giving water to the paint. So if I put too much water on it, then the painting will be overwet and watery. So I'm going to blend only on some parts to create a nice watercolor effect. The key is in the pen pressure. Giving too much pressure to the pencil will give too much water. To give less water to the painting, I just need to slightly tap the screen. To apply this brush, I give some pressure and apply it by pulling and pushing to a certain direction. I want to blend the sunset area. I want to bring the magenta color to spread down to the orange color. So I slightly push the magenta color down like this. And I'm going to bring the magenta color spreading up to the blue color by slightly pulling it up. And on this part, I'm going to give more water, which means that I will push harder 
you can see the difference between giving much pressure and less pressure. You can play around by your preferences. Overlapping the paint will create a nice watercolor effect. It makes the painting to look like a real watercolor painting. I left some part on blending. This kind of border and texture will make the painting to look like watercolor. There is some unpainted area on the bottom part, so I will blend it to fill the blanks. And now, let's paint the land area. I will pick a nice dark brown color in the winter mood color palette and grab the pigmented 2 blended brush. Number 2 means that the brushes can be loaded with two colors at once. So there will be two colors applied at once. And I will load another color for this brush. I will pick light brown color. If I clicked the light brown color here, the light brown color will be the first color. If I want to apply the first color, the light brown color, I just need to press slightly. When I want to apply the second color, the dark brown color, I need to give more pressure to the pencil. So I can apply two colors at once by playing with the pen pressure. And now I'm going to paint the land. Turning down the sides and start to paint by playing around with pen pressure. Okay, now I'm going to create water bit effect on some of the land area outer part. I will use artist grade version 2 brush in the watercolor volume 2. I didn't change the color. Using this brush, I'm going to blend the inner part first. This brush has two features. It can be used as a blender and it can be used to paint at the same time. So this time, without giving any pressure, and in a go back and forth direction, I will bleed some off the outer part. If I apply it without giving any pressure, it can be a blender. And when I give some pressure, it will apply the color. Now, I'm going to paint the lighthouse. I created a layer above, picking a nice blue color. And the brush that I'm going to use is pigmented to blend brush. And for the secondary color, I'm going to pick a slightly lighter blue shade. The left one shows how the real color looks like. And it is recorded directly from my iPad screen. Draw a tall triangle and fill it through me. A white color and grabbed round edgy even color brush to draw the light. This brush is a solid color brush. It has no transparency. 
whenever I need to paint evenly, I use this brush. I can manually turn down the opacity like this for a softer texture and color. This brush is suitable to add some light to the painting. Now I'm going to paint the scene. I will pick a pale sky blue and the brush that I'm going to use is cloth wash brush. I varied the pressure to paint the sea. Using this method, I can create a nice and natural watercolor wash. I think the bottom part of the sky seems to be too plain. So I'm going to reapply the same color on it. some blending here and there. And now I'm going to group all the layers. And reduce the size a little bit and bring it to the center. Swap left and duplicate the group and flatten the image. I always do this to create a backup. Now I will work on the flattened image. I am going to erase the outer parts as if I use the masking tape in real watercolor. I am using H eraser to create the masking tape effect. When we peel the masking tape, it will create like this kind of effect. Draw a line from the upper part to the downside and wait for a second and it will be a nice straight line by doing this it will create a nice and tidy result and it's done it is so refreshing and easy to follow right it seems like the lighthouse is not balanced oh my goodness oh no let's undo it I'm going to reconstruct it, straighten it up, and then it's done. Just want to have some fun. <laughs> it is very important to create a backup for me, so I can work on the lighthouse without damaging the background like this. And this is the end of the tutorial. I hope that this tutorial helps. You can try to use other colors and create your own creation too. Please support my channel by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. And please turn on the notification too. See you in the next video.